Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am joined today by Pepper and somewhere Cayenne. Um, we are not in my old house. We're actually in my new house. My man and I bought a house together and it's so beautiful. It's such a dream come true to actually live in a bigger space than 900 square feet. So if you've been wondering where I've been on YouTube, it's because I've been moving. It's just been a lot going on, especially with, you know, my um, makeup business, Mise Beauty. There's just so much going on, very stressed very stressed, but it's okay. All the good things are in the works. So I thought to kind of reintroduce myself to my channel, um, I would film an empties video because empties videos are just fun because I can let you know my thoughts after I've fully, fully finished a product, whether or not I would buy it again, because there are products that I enjoy, but would I buy it again based on the price point, based on how much I actually use it? There are all sorts of different factors that go into whether I would actually buy something again. So we'll start with the first product that I'm actually um, not super enthused about. This is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor SPF 30. This is a sunscreen from Rihanna's skincare line, Fenty Skin. And can I just say, regardless of how I feel about this sunscreen, I do want to applaud Fenty Skin for launching a sunscreen in their very first skincare launch and a sunscreen that leaves no white cast. Sunscreen is 100% the most important step in your entire skincare routine. So to see a brand come out with a really strong sunscreen is just great so let's start with the pros of this sunscreen so i really loved how hydrating it is it's so incredibly hydrating especially in the winter time when my skin was dry the cold dry air just the heater being on it was just not good and so my skin would get very flaky very dry very tight feeling this sunscreen is really nice because it has such a beautiful kind of moisturizer lotiony feel to it it's definitely a thicker lotion or a thinner moisturizer if that makes sense. In my head, lotions are liquidy and moisturizers are thicker, so let me know if you feel the same way. I don't think it's actually a thing. It does have kind of like a emollient creamy texture to it. Really, really nice to apply. Zero white cast, which is so, so important because if you have a sunscreen that has a white cast, you're going to under apply it and not get the adequate SPF protection. So the fact that this has no white cast, thanks to the organic sunscreen filters used in here, I think is just wonderful. I love the packaging, by the way. It's this beautiful kind of lilac-y, lavender, purple packaging and it's refillable. So you keep this component and then this, you can buy another one up and it just really quickly pop it in and you have a replacement. Um, did I mention that it's SPF 30? So let me quickly tell you why I will not be repurchasing this. I won't be repurchasing this because it is so incredibly perfumey. It's so perfumey. Fragrance and skincare, I don't mind. In fact, I prefer fragrance in a lot of my cleansers. I love my cleansers to be really fragrant and really fun and playful and just really enjoyable to use because of the fragrance. When it comes to overnight skincare or skincare like this that you would leave on your face for a longer duration, I do think fragrance free is the best way to go because it's just the safest route. But fragrance in skincare is not the end all be all. Like, oh my God, this has fragrance in it. I can't ever use it. That's definitely not true. That being said, despite this having fragrance in it, and actually I made a video in, in defense of Fenty Skin before I tried anything being like, okay y'all, just because it has fragrance in it does not mean you have to cancel the entire skincare line. Okay, I'm kind of putting my foot in my mouth here because this is too fragrancy. It's so perfumey. It's so intense. It's like I put it on my face in the morning and I can still smell it on my face in the afternoon. It's a nice scent. It's like a cherry vanilla, like sweet kind of scent. It's not um, syrupy or anything. It's just sweet and light, but it's so intensely perfumey. And if you're prone to migraines or if you are sensitive to fragrance and skincare, you will not like this. So I had to throw that out there. Fragrance and skincare is generally fine, but up to your personal taste. This has so much fragrance in it, not my personal taste. My skin was never irritated by it. Let me clarify that really fast because my skin never experienced any breakouts or irritation because of the fragrance or any of the other ingredients in here for that matter. It was just a matter of personal preference that I could smell this on my face hours after I applied it. That's not okay. So, sorry Rihanna. Okay, my next empty will come as no surprise because I have ranted and raved about this moisturizer so many times on my channel. This is the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer and this is the gel moisturizer that turned me on to gel moisturizers. I used to hate gel moisturizers. They just kind of left me feeling parched and wanting more, like they just disappeared off my skin. 
This is actually a substantially hydrating gel moisturizer that sincerely hydrated my skin and yet kept me shine free in really hot humid summer months so i got this in pr um i think before the summertime and i used it every day basically throughout the entire summer where i was in austin texas which is very very hot and i think it's so interesting that this can be so incredibly hydrating and it can still reduce shine. I believe this does contain niacinamide, which is one of the greatest ingredients of all time in my opinion, because it helps so much with, you know, reducing the appearance of blackheads because it helps to control sebum production. It's also just a great antioxidant. So, you know, when you have, you know, the sunshine and free radical damage and stuff like that, um, antioxidants actually help to quench those free radical reactions and just minimize damage. So would I repurchase this? 100% yes I would. I did get sent this in PR originally and I would like buy this with my own money which I'm going to when it gets a little bit warmer. So definitely, definitely, definitely on my list of things to buy. I cannot recommend this enough. If you have oily skin, you'll probably really like this. If you have dry skin, take a chance. You might really like this because I have dry skin and this worked really well for me underneath my moisturizer and sunscreen and everything else. That's one thing I did want to say is that with a lot of daytime moisturizers, you do have to be a little bit careful because sometimes they can pill underneath of sunscreens and or over top of serums, whatever you apply. This didn't pill at all with any combination of skincare that I tried with it. And I try a lot of different skincare and I feel like it really speaks to the quality of this product and just how well formulated it is to be compatible with other products. So this is one of my favorite serums that I've really enjoyed. So this is the Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. This contains water, Matrixyl 3000, Ubiquinone, Glycerin, Hyaluronic Acid, Aloe, um, Vitamin E, and a preservative. Very simple ingredients list. This is also pretty affordable. Timeless is a very, very underrated skincare brand. Um, I had never heard of them prior to them reaching out to me to send me this, and I was very pleasantly surprised when I discovered that they were affordable, and their formulations are simple and yet very sophisticated. So this is a hydrating serum containing CoQ10, which is an antioxidant. So like I mentioned earlier with niacinamide, antioxidants are just so insanely important to your skincare routine. They're like tiny and daily ingredients you can incorporate in your skincare routine that you'll see big big results from down the line. So I use antioxidants in my morning routine and in my nighttime routine, but the way that I used this serum the most is in my morning routine. After I cleansed my skin and my skin was still a little bit damp, I would apply a couple drops into my hands and pat it into my skin and the results were just gorgeous. This is a little bit of a thicker serum texture, so it's not like a watery, thin, thin, thin serum. It does have a little bit of viscosity to it. It's a little bit thicker, um, which I really like because as someone with dry skin, I generally don't really like very liquidy, watery serum textures. They have their place in my skincare routine, but if I'm just doing a very simple skincare routine of like serum, sunscreen, I'm gonna reach for this one. So this is super, super hydrating. It has the antioxidants in there. It doesn't pill underneath of anything. It's just a gorgeous serum and it's not that expensive. Would I repurchase this? I don't really know, only because I feel like hydrating serums are a dime a dozen and <laughs> there's probably only one hydrating serum I would ever repurchase that I have repurchased. That is, by the way, the Visviva Rosewater Serum. I'll link it down below. By the way, all the products I talk about will be linked down below. But I, I just feel like hydrating serums are a dime a dozen, and there's really nothing outstanding about anything in general except for the Visviva one. But I think if you are looking for a hydrating serum and you don't want to fuss with like really intense, complicated ones or really expensive ones, this is a great one. I think it's under $20 and it's just beautiful and it lasts a very long time. My last empty is from Stradia. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. This is their liquid gold and I've talked about liquid gold on my channel before. Y'all actually introduced me to liquid gold, so shout out to y'all. Um, but basically this is a gorgeous, barrier friendly, very reparative, very restorative kind of serum. It's a very thick serum or it Maybe it's a moisturizer. I don't actually know what they call it, but this is definitely like a rich, thick serum. I think great barrier relief from Crave Beauty or a very thin moisturizer. I don't think there's any product left, so I can't really show you the texture, but this was a mini size that I got in one of their travel kits and I tried it, fell in love, immediately repurchased a new one. My full size um, liquid gold is in my bathroom right now and I'm just so in love with it. It's one of those things where, let's face it, we've all had those nights. You stay up really late, you're exhausted. The most you can do is wash your face and put one skincare item on your skin. 
Okay, so that in mind, if I'm going to do that routine where I literally just cleanse my skin, throw something on my face, and then pass out in bed, it's gonna be liquid gold because it has so many incredible ingredients packed in here. It has ingredients like sea buckthorn oil, which is super reparative and restorative. It has niacinamide, it has, you know, ceramides. It has so many ingredients that your skin barrier just loves. It's so yummy. Like if you're going to invest in something to be like a band-aid for your skin, if you've over exfoliated, if you have sun damage, if you have just generally irritated skin or just dry skin or a skin that needs a little bit of TLC, liquid gold is where it's at and yes i am filming a comparison video of great barrier relief and liquid gold yeah i really can't say enough good things about liquid gold this brand actually is just really phenomenal um such an underdog in the industry in my opinion it's an indie brand and you know i love supporting indie brands so definitely check out stradia they are such a phenomenal just very thoughtful company in my opinion so those are all of my empties for the past month or so i have a ton of new products that i'm testing out i have so many videos planned like you don't even know this whole move into the new house is really like jolted my schedule a lot but i promise there are so many videos that i'm trying to film it's just really a really crazy balancing act of trying to manage and juggle all the different areas of my life but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it a little bit informative let me know what your thoughts are on any of these products in the comments down below i'd love to talk skincare with y'all but yeah until my next video have a beautiful week and i pepper <laughs> yeah have a beautiful week and i'll see you in my next video bye